Good morning. You're watching Much Ado About Something, and I'm Donna. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been around here a while, welcome back. Well, today we're going to make chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings is a wonderful comfort meal. They're delicious, satisfying. They're good to feed a family. Very economical. And they've been around for a long time. A chicken and dumpling recipe goes back as far as anybody can remember. Now, we've got two different ways to make our chicken and dumplings. You've got two different kinds of dumplings. There's the drop dumplings, and then there's the uh, pastry dumplings. Here's a screenshot. I mean, um, I'm showing you the handwritten recipes here, and if you'd like to screenshot them to save them, feel free to do that. It's a hard choice to choose which dumpling to make, I don't want anybody to be intimidated by making ch chicken and dumplings. The drop dumplings are uh, like a biscuit dough, and many people use canned biscuits to make the drop dumplings, and the pastry dumplings are a little fancier. You have to roll those out and cut them, but neither one of them are, it is very difficult. They're both very easy to mix. Well, let's get to it. Let's make some chicken and dumplings. Now these recipes are family, they're family recipes, so if you need to adjust them in whatever way, feel free to do that. So that maybe if there's something you don't like or would like something different in, then uh, you can certainly do that. But these are the recipes that I've been making all these years and the ones that I wanted to share with you. I'm going to make two pots today because I'm going to make the biscuits. Uh, the drop dumplings, and I'm going to make the pastry dumplings. I've got the cast iron pot here, and this is the one I usually make chicken and dumplings in, but I, I mean, any pot that you have, a good pot that you usually use for this kind of thing will work. I've got them heating up, and I'm going to put a, a few tablespoons of fat in each pot and uh, start chopping up an onion. Now, there's quite a bit of soup and uh chicken and dumplings. There's quite a bit of liquid. So I use one onion per uh, whatever pot. One, one onion per recipe of this. Now this looks like a lot of onions, but you got a pretty good pot size pots here and they're going to have liquid in it and your onion adds a lot of flavor. So we're going to go ahead, got our pots heated up and our, our grease going here. And we're going to go ahead and put one of these chopped onions in each pot. So we've got our onions in our pot. And we're just going to cook these until they're a little kind of clear. Now, on the ingredient list, you can see that um, carrot is optional. So I'm not going to put the carrot in today. And the celery. It calls for two stalks of celery, but I'm going to go ahead and use celery seed because I don't have any celery on hand, and I do have celery seed. And celery seed will add the same flavor that the stalk of celery would add. Now, if you were using celery and carrots, your celery and carrots would be in here with these onions. I'm 
I'm going to let them cook just a little bit more and then we'll add the chicken. Okay, our onions look like they're about done. You can see the difference in the way this uh, stainless steel pot cooks the onions and the way the cast iron enamel lined pot cooks the onions. We've got a little bit of uh, caramelization going on in this pan. That brown uh, color, that really brings out the flavor of the onion. But this will too, this will add flavor to the onion too. This, these are good, they've cooked about 10 minutes and that's the way they should look. Now let's put the chicken in, we'll go over here. Now it doesn't matter what kind of chicken you use, whatever cut you like best. I've got a half a chicken breast here. Look how big this chicken breast is. It's a big old chicken breast. And I've got uh, four thighs here. So I've got chicken thighs and uh, breast thawed out here. I'm going to take one chicken uh, thigh and put it in with the breast because the chicken thigh is dark meat and it has such good flavor. Well, we'll just put the chicken breast and the chicken thigh in this pan. So we've got a half a chicken breast and a thigh in this pot. And I'm just going to use three thighs in this pot. Chicken and dumplings is an economy meal. It's, it's excellent on the budget. It's delicious and it's a comfort meal. So you don't need a lot of chicken in your uh, pot to make your chicken and dumplings. It's just going to add some meat and most of the flavor. So when we get our chicken in our pot, you want to put water in to cover your chicken. Now we're going to bring that up to a boil and we're going to let this simmer. We're going to cut it down to a simmer and we're going to let this chicken boil in here with this vegetable broth, the onions that, and the carrots and celery if you add that. We're going to let them boil in there for about 45 minutes. Well, the, the chicken's cooked and so it's laying over here cooling off and then we're going to take it off the bone after it's cool and of course you'll uh, remove the fat and the bone and just keep the meat so we'll do that as soon as that get, cools off we've got our uh, liquid over here our broth vegetable broth and chicken broth now that we cooked our chicken in it's simmering we want to keep that at a low simmer so we're going to cut that down just a tad and now's when we're going to add our spices. You know, I didn't use the celery, fresh celery. I subs, subbed and I'm using two teaspoons of celery seed. So we're going to add that now. And we're going to add one tablespoon of poultry seasoning. Now's a good time to add that. And you can add salt and pepper at this time too if you'd like. So I might add a little pepper. A teaspoon of pepper. Now that, that'll be ready for when we drop our dumplings in. Our 
our chicken and our dumplings. All right, we're just gonna let the chicken cool. Okay, the chicken cooled off, so we're shredding it off of the bone. These chicken chunks can be as big or as little as you want them to be. I think some people think this is the gross part, but it never bothers me. Separate your good chicken from what you're going to throw away. And you can just take your fork and uh, maybe even a pair of scissors. Kitchen shears and just cut them the size that you want them to be. Sometimes I cut them in half so the chunks won't be as big. Got your chicken shredded up or chunked up. need to be ready to go in your pot. Take out whatever parts that you don't want to eat, like the fat and the bones. And your chicken will be ready to add back to your pot. Now this is the time if you want your broth to be thicker, this would be the time to add thickening. To a pot this size, I would probably add one cup of flour and stir it in really, really good. And that'll make your broth that's in your chicken and dumplings, it'll make it thicker. Now you want to put your chicken back in your pot, the chicken that you've shredded. Let me get you a good view here. So here's our chicken that we've taken off the bone. I'm just going to about, I'm almost half this. Put your chicken back into your pot after it's been deboned and cleaned up from the fat. And discard your bones any way you see fit. Now you want to bring this to a simmer. You want this liquid to be simmering when you add your uh, pastry. We're going to add pastry to this back one here. Add a little, little thickening to this. I added a cup of flour, self rising flour, to this to thicken this up. Of course, you can use whatever you usually use to thicken your soups. You can use arrowroot or cornstarch or whatever it is that you would, would like to use. But we're going to bring this back up to a good simmer and we're going to get ready and put our dumplings, mix our dumplings. The first dumplings we're going to make will be our drop dumplings. Our drop dumplings are a lot like biscuits. It, it would be uh, the same thing that you would... Some people use uh, canned biscuits or their own biscuit recipe and that's fine too. We're going to need two cups of flour. And we're 
we're going to use two cups of flour for the pastry recipe too. So I'm just going to go ahead while I'm in this flour and put the two cups of flour in. This calls for, the drop dumplings calls for two teaspoons of baking powder. A half a teaspoon of baking soda. and a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk these dry ingredients together. And then I'm gonna add the lard. This drop dumplings calls for a half a cup of lard, you want to work that good into your flour. And when you get it worked into your flour until it looks good and worked in, you'll add your three-fourths cup of water or buttermilk. I'm using water. Just make sure your dough and your liquid together. Now at this point, you could add some seasoning to this if you wanted to. You could add a, a little bit of poultry seasoning or uh, Old Bay seasoning or any seasoning that you like and it would spice your dumplings up a little bit. But we're just going to make plain dumplings today. And you can see this turns out much like a biscuit dough. Now the pastry dough is a little fancier. We put the two cups of all-purpose flour in. We're going to add a teaspoon of salt. And two teaspoons of baking powder. Yes? Okay. And I'll just go ahead and mix this in. I like to give it a little whisk so you won't have clumps of baking powder or too much salt in one area. I like to mix it like this and that way it's evenly distributed before you put all your wet ingredients in. Now this calls for um, a third of a cup of shortening or lard. So we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to cut this in. You can use a pastry cutter, a knife, 
a spatula, your hand, whatever you need to get it cut, to get your uh, shortening cut into your flour mixture. The pastry dumplings are a little fancier. So once you get the, uh, the shortening of the lard mixed up into your flour mixture, you add two third cups of broth. The broth will add a little bit of flavor to it instead of just using water or milk. it up. When you get it mixed up, it'll be kind of like this. I had to end up adding about a teaspoon more of liquid to this, or broth to it. And that happens sometimes with your um, recipes. You get a rolling pin. I should have had this rolling pin handy. Now you know you want to kind of shape it a, a little bit like a rectangle. It's not going to stay in that shape, but you kind of, you know, to get your dump, dumpling kind of square, you want to Try to keep it in a rectangular shape. Now you can make these as thin or thick as you want them depending on the size that you like your dumplings. See pastry dumplings take a little bit more time. You have to roll them out. Or the drop dumplings you know are quicker. I was raised on the drop dumplings, but I always thought the pastry dumplings were a treat when I got to get those. Doesn't matter how, which, whichever way you prefer. And after you get your dumplings rolled out to a good size, to the thinness or thickness that you like them, Time to cut them out. I just use a pizza cutter. I tell you, it is getting hot in this kitchen. But the thing about your dumplings is they're going to swell in that pan. When you drop them in that simmering broth, they're going to swell up. So you want to kind of keep them on the small side until you just uh, figure out what size dumpling you like. If you uh, do a big biscuit size dumpling, then you're going to have a, they're going to swell up. And the same thing with the pastry dumplings. If you want to cut them out, just cut them out to the size that you, uh, a little bit smaller than you think you'll, you'll like them. And we're just going to pick our dumplings up and put them in a bowl. You can put a little flour over them if you'd like them to be uh, separate a little more. But in general, they'll be just fine like this. And that's your, how your pastry dumplings, dumplings will look. Now we come over here to our simmer, simmering broth. And this is our pastry dumplings. So we're going to just go ahead and drop our 
pastry into this simmering boiling water. It's a it's a low boil. Now don't let the dumplings intimidate you. A lot of people are like worried about this part that uh, their dumplings are not going to turn out right. But it's like anything else, chicken and dumplings. The more you make it, the better you get at it. The more you'll learn to tweak it to the way that you like it. Now you'll be tempted to stir these dumplings, but I was always told that you don't stir the dumplings because they're kind of at a fragile state right now. They could mix right into the broth. So I'm not going to stir these right now. I'm just going to put the lid on them. And then we're going to move over here to the drop dumplings. We're going to simmer these uh, dumplings for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then you can check them and see if they're the way that you want them. Now we've got our uh, broth simmering. This broth is a little bit thicker because we added a cup of flour to it. To thicken it up and that's a preference thing too whether you like your chicken and dumplings thick or if you like them thin I'm going to take a teaspoon and just drop these dumplings in that's why they're called drop dumplings you just take a teaspoon into your flour mixture here and drop it down into your pot and you, it is a little time consuming, and you do this so that your uh, dumpling won't be one big clump. As you drop it into your uh, boiling water, your simmering water, it cooks it a little bit and it keeps it from sticking to its other dumplings in there. And you just keep doing this until all of your flour mixture, all your biscuit or dough dumpling mix here is in your simmering pot. minutes okay our timer is finished so we're going to turn that timer off and we're going to look at our chick at our dumplings well, there you go Now you can put a little bit of parsley or something, a little green spots in here if you would like to see those. I know a lot of chicken and dumplings have herbs in them. So there you go. There's a, a pot of chicken and dumplings. This soup will thicken up a little bit like the next day. If you... Uh, Put these up, and the next day you have your soup. Your soup is going to be a little bit thicker. Well, that's the drop biscuit dumplings. Let's look at the pastry dumplings. Well, 
There you go. Your pastry, pastry dumplings are uh, a little different, but just as good. We didn't thicken this soup, so the soup is uh, a little bit thinner, but you can certainly thicken it if that's what you would like. It should have a lot of flavor. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dip some out for me to eat, and of course... I'll be dipping out the uh, drop biscuit ones because that's the ones that I was raised on. See, if you go down to the bottom, you get quite a bit of that chicken. There you go. Homemade chicken and dumplings. Enjoy.